Let's get straight to, to the meat of the issue, a property market that is struggling to recover. When are we going to see it bottom out? In Dubai, there is no currency risk. That's a major advantage. World-class infrastructure, safety, one of the most safest city. You know you live here, you understand how safe it is. Then you come to the political stability. You come to the uh, government, which is very pro-business and very active on business. You come to the lifestyle from, you know, every religion, every sector can live in the city and do whatever they want yes. from, from all the aspects. So the city has very, very strong fundamentals to grow, and still the growth of the city can become 10 times more than it is. But at the moment, it's not enough to yes. fill the supply that's that. coming up. I understand that. The city has an amazing leader who has built the city working day and night to reach it where it is, and he's still working to take it further. I mean, so have all, it ticks all the boxes of the most successful, the most amazing city in the world. And it competed very quickly with Singapore and Hong Kong this world in a short time. So why are we having this problem? Today, did we have a bomb exploded? Did our currency fell? Did uh, we have a demonstration in the street? We don't have all those issues, alhamdulillah. What is happening is very simple. We had a very good market turning around in 2012. It peaked in 2016, 2017, which is normal. Property market is cyclical. You see good five years, you're gonna see a couple of, you know, slow down. And we're having a nice, slow, soft landing, which was healthy, which was good. What happened in 2018, we start having a slow. Then some of the big boys in town start dumping the supply and creating, which is one of the most ridiculous things for the city, the payment plans. And the payment plan is not good for developer and is not good for the consumer. You may think it's good for consumer. It purely encourages the speculation and has a disaster result in the future. What has the committee done so far? What can they change from your perspective? I don't know what the committee has done. I am not uh, part of that committee. Uh, they have a mandate. I'm sure they're working on it. I'm sure they have a plan for it. Uh, to be fair, it's been only a few weeks. We need to give them some time to see what could be done for that. But if they ask me, and they did ask me, it's part of it, my answer is very simple. It's stop the supply. Not forever, for a year, for 18 months. Almost all the developers in the last 12 months have reduced the supply by 80%. We have reduced it, Dubai property reduced it, Miras reduced it, Nakhil almost did zero. Private sector, a lot of them have stopped it. Azizi, uh, Subha, every single developer other than Amar is stop the supply or they reduce it 80%. But one company keep dumping and dumping and dumping. So if, I don't know if, why. That, if that continues, the, the crisis, I mean, this has now reached a critical level as far as you're concerned. This is now exactly. an emergency from a Dubai perspective, isn't yes. it? Yes, 100% I agree with you. Now we're entering a crossroads. Either we fix this problem and we can grow from here, not tomorrow, but in 24 months, maybe 30 months. If we don't, we're going to see disaster. You know, this will have impact on the banking system. I mean, allow me to follow up on that in terms of how the market is dealing with the current situation. Are you planning to sell any assets at all? We have no issue from financial point of view. Last year, we made two launches where we used to do 20. This year, we made one launch. Next year, probably we'll do one launch. So we curb the uh, you know, new products. We haven't bought uh, any lands, okay? Uh, we, we, we reduce our land buying. Mm -hmm. We have enough land bank. I think we learn from 08 and 09, and we looked at this subject in 017 January exactly, as a management and as a board. And we decided we're not gonna buy a big piece of lands. We're not gonna do major launches and we're running our, our business very, very well. I mean, evidence to the pain is the stock's price uh, of the mark. I mean, it's down at the lowest level since about 2014. 
How are you going to turn that around given the challenges in the market? See, my job is to perform. I cannot control the stock market. The stock market is a subject of sentiment, geopolitical issues, uh, what the, uh, the whole market is doing. But give you an example, we're going to be delivering this year 4,000 units. We're going to be delivering next year 6,000 units. I am on the delivery focusing. We're not going to do many launches. We're going to focus on selling what products we still have. And our financial position today is very strong. Apart from having six billion dirham in the escrow, we have more than six, seven hundred million dirham cash in the company. And our bond, which is due, one bond was due last April, just a few months ago. We paid it fully and on time. My next bond, which is due in 2022, I can tell you if the bondholder give me five, six percent discount on that, I can pay them next May. We have the money to pay that bond next May, two years ahead of time. So the company's financial position is solid. We're paying our contractor on time. We have extra money, okay? The only thing, we cannot give dividends because our profitability is, is down. Well, I'm not going to give dividends in this market because the situation of the market. I want to keep the cash in the company. And the most important thing for me, to pay the two, two bonds ahead of time.